Johnny Dias here of Audio Plugin Deals, and today I'm looking at Enforcer. Enforcer is a plugin that can be described as a base Swiss Army knife. It can add more sub to your kicks, it can add texture to your snares. If you have a big sound effect in a trailer or a big impact, it can make it sound even more epic. It's really a sound designer's dream. Since I've had it, I've been using it in a lot of my projects. Um, today I want to show you just the way I've been using it the most and that is to get those classic 808 uh, drum sounds that you hear all the time on the radio. Now I know this probably isn't the most intended use for this plugin, but I found it worked way better than anything else I've been trying and I thought I'd have to show it to you guys. And in the process you get to kind of see how the plugin works and kind of probably find some inspiration there too. So today I want to show you how to make some next level 808s with Enforcer. So let's get into it. So I do have to warn you guys, there's going to be a lot of bass in this video. So if you have uh, angry neighbors or, you know, you don't want to upset the dog, maybe wear headphones for this or maybe turn down your sub. Or you can turn it up, depending how you're feeling. Um, so what I have here is a beat that I made a bit earlier. We just have some voice samples, uh, a bell, hi-hat, white noise, snare, kick. So normally with a beat like this, you'd want to have that 808 droning sound, but I haven't added it in yet because I wanted to do it with Enforcer. Um, normally I would maybe try to use a sample, an 808 sample, or maybe a synth to try to do this, but it's always an unsatisfying process and it's really hard to kind of do the surgery to make your kick fit with the 808. So today I'm going to do it with the Enforcer and show you that it's actually a much easier way and it gets some really cool sounds. So I'm just going to bring up Enforcer now. Okay, so this is Enforcer. Uh, this is the default uh, setting. I haven't done anything on it. Um, I'll just give you a quick overview. Up here we have the presets, and you can see there's heaps of different categories here. Um, drums, kicks, um, like sound effects. So it's really, this is a sound designer's dream. You can really um, take any of your sounds that you're currently working with and make them sound even more crazy or big. Um, but today I'm gonna keep it on the default. I know that this song is in D minor, so I'm just going to put this to a note, put that to D1, so I know that a D is going to work, and for the high note, I think I'll make that a D as well. Um, so what these are is kind of the, the, the high point and the low point of your pitch envelope on your oscillator. Um, this will make more sense a bit later in the video when I kind of take that to town, but for now we don't really have to worry about it. I'm going to lock those together, so if this moves up a note, that will move up as with it. Okay, so let's listen to this, and really, to get the 808 sound, you don't have to do much other than set your note here, and just extend the decay. Down here we have a dry wet knob. I want to hear more of that 808, so I'm going to bring this up. Wow. That's a very sinister sounding 808 very, very powerful 808. Over here we have like a uh, kind of a color, which to my ears sounds like a distortion or kind of choosing the way it sounds a little bit. You can do a bit more shaping with um, the sound with this. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's just hear that with the beat and see how it sounds. It's so cool. And if I just turn it off quickly. It's, you can see how much of a difference we've made by just having this simple plugin uh, on one track. So I'm pretty impressed by that. Like I wouldn't be doing this, um, this plugin justice if, I, if that's where I stopped today. So what I want to do is take this to the next level and show you guys a few more tricks you can do with 808s so you can stand out from the crowd where everyone's using this kind of similar sound. Okay, so the first trick I want to show you guys is just having a few cuts in here. And to do this, all I've done is just automate the dry wet knob so it goes down to zero. So let's check that out. So you see it's kind of just letting it breathe a little bit. You could also automate the decay time to go down, but I found this to be just very clean. So that's a cool way to just bring a little bit more detail to your 808 pattern and I find that um, I don't really do that if I have an 808 sample, I wouldn't be making cuts like that. So this is very, very cool. 
Um, but, you know, I still don't feel like I've done justice to Enforcer because you can do a lot more than that. So let's take it to another level. All right. So up until this point in the video, I haven't really been talking about this, uh, these pitch attack and decay. Um, in trailers, often you have those big sub drop sounds and you can achieve those with, um, by increasing this decay sound here. Take this 808 to the next level, I decided I would um, increase the decay just on a few notes so you have these kind of big 808 slides. And I've set the high note over here to D2 and the low note to D1 so it kind of slides about an octave down. So let's have a look at it and see how it sounds. So you can see I've automated this decay to come up. It's giving you these really cool sounding um, sub drops. But I'm still not satisfied. I want to take it another level higher. And of course, the way to do that would be to add more pitch and kind of make it into a bass line. So with Enforcer, you can actually do that as well. This is really impressive. Earlier, I made a bit of a bass line. Um, what you can do is uh, I'm running Cubase, but you just have to send the output of your MIDI channel to um, your, your Enforcer. And it will read the pitch here if you hit this little white button. And I've locked uh, these, the high and the low, so they move in sync. So if, say if this is a D1, this would be D2. If that was an E1, this would be an E2. So check this out. I've now got a melody. And you see those slides work really well on different notes as well. Pretty easily, we've taken what was just a, a kick drum, like uh, this, and we've just using a single plugin, we've made a massive, uh, massive difference to the song with this really uh, detailed, cool sounding 808 pattern. Inside, you could even change it from a driven sign to maybe a triangle or uh, the plastic one sounds pretty cool. Um, there's really a lot of options here. And the final thing I want to say is um, I've also got an, a, uh, an instance of Enforcer here that I've added to the snare. You can see when I've turned that on, it just gives it a bit more of a, a, bit of a punch. In conclusion, this is a really cool plugin that can get you results that you would never be able to get with EQ or compression. Um, and I found that this is the way I'm going to be making my 808s from now on because it's just so much cleaner and there's a lot more control and I can do all these cool effects that I just cannot pull off with samples. And there's none of that surgery of mixing your kick and your 808 together. So I really like this one. I'd recommend going to audio plugin deals to get some more information on this one and maybe pick up a copy. And I'm pretty sure once you get your hands on this, you'll see that there's so many different usages for this, you're gonna wish you had it earlier. It's really, really powerful, and it's kind of taken my sound design to another level. I really recommend this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.